Good morning. Today we are in Paris, California. Today is February the 4th, 23. And look at this. We're gonna go to a classic car museum today. That is creepy. Definitely Bates Motel vibes. Go check that place out. We're gonna go to the Mott's Historic Classic Car Museum out here. And it looks pretty cool, so we'll go check out what they have and hit the road. Here comes this guy. <laughs> and away he goes, just like us. But first, we gotta walk down the dusty trail, heading back to the car, right over here. The fresh smell of Jack in the Box in the morning. Ugh, no thank you. Um, oh yeah, I was gonna say about the last video and right on cue, the guy comes behind me. Um, got cut off for some reason, I'm not sure why. Uh, that was the Ortega Falls, if you saw it. Thanks for watching. If not, check it out. All right, let's go head over to the Bates Motel. Here we are at the Sun Leisure Motel, pool, kitchen, apartments, free HBO, TNT, CNN and Fox Sports. It's kind of cool. Get some serious Norman vibes here as somebody watches me. I think the owner was watching me. There's the motel sign. Going around the back and Norman. Are you home? We got one person here. I don't know. I love the sign though. That is so cool. Let's get over to the car museum before this person gets really upset. So the car museum isn't open yet, but check this out. Chinese bistro with the old, that's not a, I forgot what those uh, train signs are called. I know the wig wags, but Look at this. So we're on the side of Highway 74. Look at this Chinese bistro in rail cars. An old Santa Fe caboose. Look how far it goes back. And I was just driving by and saw this. Dine aboard experience. That is really cool. And it's on tracks. Never would have thought this is out here. Currently not open, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Neither is the museum, but let's walk up and see if we can see inside the window or see if they have a menu. Oh, they got this guy too on the tracks. Historic relic. I really hope this place is still in business. I would have to definitely come back here. Because I know when I think of Chinese food, generally I think of well, I guess rail cars, yeah. They worked on the railroad. There's the inside. This looks like it's all blocked. They open at 11, or so it says. The old train light. The theming here is amazing. I'm thinking that's probably the office. Let's walk around back. Okay, so I walked around the whole train no indication if it was open or not but i did look on my phone as you can see and it shows that it's closed i was reading some of the reviews actually really good reviews let's see the inside of this place see how it's themed and it says that hopefully they'll be oh they're you sit in rail cars like well obviously but check that out look how cool that is that looks like a lot of fun Somebody wrote in the review that they're gonna to try to open, this was six months ago, that they're waiting for the city to approve something of moving these rail cars. So with any luck, this place will be back open and we will be back for sure. It's called China Bistro once again. So on Yelp in Roma land, if you wanna look it up. Keep a uh, watch on it and see if they do open, hopefully. Well, we've made it to the Mott Historical Car Museum, and I'm still waiting on them open. 
It's a lot smaller than I pictured. Actually, that is not it. This is it. Check that out. The Mott Classic Car Museum. Mott's Romola Farms, established 1910. This place looks really cool. Good size too. So once they open, we'll head inside and take a look around. And before heading in, I walk around to the back. Look at all this old farming equipment. It's the Adams Road Maintainer, number six, by Adams & Co. out of Indianapolis, Indiana. That's pretty cool too. Don't think I wanna touch that stuff. I'm not sure the last time I had my tetanus shot. But you'd sit up there. Wow, what a job. People complain today about their jobs. Imagine doing this all day. But this guy, get to sit in that little seat. Most likely get pulled. I'd have to figure you get pulled. Still got quite a bit of snow on the mountains. As you can see out there in the distance. Pretty unusual for Southern California. But everything is green. Look at that. I don't know what this is. Well, that's a tractor, but this over here. And this is the other side of the barn for the Mott's Car Museum. I think we're good. Let's try to head in now. So we're finally inside. Check this out, this old T-Bird, the cinema sign. And I guess uh, they were just cleaning up because they had a wedding in here last night. The old Route 66 neon sign. So it's the Mott's Museum, and the Mott's family uh, own most of this area and has been selling it off. Classic Coca-Cola, Nifty 50s, you can hang out in there. Really, really awesome barn. This roadster over here, I was reading on it, we'll stop by there too, but yeah, everything's free. And they're about to have a 10 year anniversary and everybody's invited for free. Come on by and Check out this air conditioner. That's cool on the deluxe. Wow. Let's look inside this T-Bird. Oh, it looks like this one was outside. They said they had to pull a couple of the cars outside for last night because of the uh, wedding. I love these. Oh, wow, listen to this. You can hear the bulbs on our relay. Have a little theater in here. Rebel Without a Cause, of course. American Graffiti. This place is so neat. I can't believe I've never been here. So here's the T-Bird. An old classic Chevy. I have no idea what that's even used for. That's cool. These cars are in awesome condition. Oh, it's an Impala. No way. An American popcorn. <laughs> so cool. Look at that. All right, let's walk over. Let's see what this is over here. So here's some of the other, whoa. Sierra Madre, Pasadena, 1946. The route of the annual Rose Parade. How cool. Got a Rockola here. Spinning. Currently nothing on. Got some Bean Crosby, Glenn Miller Band. Artie Shaw, Perry Como. This is a 1943 Burma Jeep, World War II. It's pretty cool too. So one thing I just noticed is they do it by uh, decades. So they got the Roaring Twenties, the Depression Thirties over here, the Fighting Forties, there's the Burma Jeep. So they kind of have it broken down. Start here with a 1924 Model T school bus. 
Terrace Union High School. <laughs> Check out the benches in the back. Wow, that is, I had no idea I was gonna come to this place today. What a shock. If you have the time, I highly recommend stopping by. A 1925 Ford Model T runabout. Clean looking car. 1926 touring car Chevy. Twenty-eight Model A. Wow, that is. Got the Mott Brothers Lakeview, California uh, emblem on the side. Old pickup. It's inside this one too. Not much going on there. There's the bed. And this one I don't know, but the key is inside. Look at the leg room back there. Oh, got your luggage. Got a little rack back here. This is a, oh, this is the Packard. The Packard 443 Club. That is a good looking car. Try to back up here to get it all in a frame. Directly on the other side, we have a 1931 Ford Victoria. So this would have been the beginning of the Crown Vix. Let's see inside this. Nice. Here's an old Cadillac with a rumble seat and your luggage. Now these tires are a little bit thicker. Wow. Can you imagine sitting back there? That is so cool. Got your mirror, got your windshield wipers, turn them on right there. Got an extra tire. Walk around to the front. A 1931 Cadillac. That is a good looking car. What a machine. Look at those headlights. Oh, and real quick, 1930s, Mott Farms, John, Charles, Frank at home. Just so we show the, the Mott. It's so nice that they did this and have us here for free. Once again, everything is free. They do have a gift shop. 1951 8N tractor. I think we can go in from the other side. We'll check that out in a minute, but there's one car that was in a movie here that's, I'm sure quite a few of these have been just because of the conditions, but we'll stop by there in a sec too. This is an old Ford pickup and a boat tail speedster. All right, let's look around this and find out. Check out the Ford too, but let's find out why they call it a speedster or a boat tail. Supercharged. Yeah, well, that makes sense now. Classic. That's a cool looking car. Look at that from the back, the boat tail. Here's the old Ford pickup. It's a good looking pickup as well. Keys are in this guy too. That is a small little cabin. Even a mirror, beveled mirror, side steps. This one's been, looks like it's been driven quite a bit. How fun would this be? This is the Cadillac from the passenger side. You got two spares with that one. And the boat tail. I just wanted to show this is the family tree of Mary Mott and Alfonso Mott. And it breaks down Leon and John Mott are the guys that pretty much run this whole place now. So, I wanted to show you this 1941 Slats Ford Track Roadster. This thing right here was, Kenneth Bell drove the car in the movie Wheels of Fire. I produced Keith Merrill, a docudrama about drag racing. That is cool. 1934 modeled hot rod right here. 
But we'll look inside this roadster real quick. Wow. That is cool. This used to spin, I was told, as well, so. Well, that's gonna do it, I think. Head out of here. It's a small museum. I just wanna say thank you to the Mott family. I really enjoyed that. Um, I will be back, I'll bring some people with me. I got nothing but good things to say about it, and the people that work there are very, very nice, so. All right, let's head out of here. But before we do, this is the little patio, and like I said, they do have events here, so. Just check online and come on out. It's free. You can always do a donation. Once again, thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing if you are subscribed. Thank you. I appreciate it. And we're going to hit the road. The Mott Museum.